You are a liar. A liar! I own you. This crew is gonna destroy itself from the inside out. You lied to me. Someone's talking. What have you gotten us into? It was me all along. I was the mole. I know, Harley. I know. You know, every time we get a script, it's like, okay, what's gonna happen? And there's always something in there that you're like, oh my God, okay, wow. You were never very good at following orders. They really are pushing the envelope for network TV. I mean, how many times do you get to play a bisexual lieutenant who has a family of cops that he loves who are all bad cops? You've been talking to the feds. He's a little nutty. <laughs> I think with season two, you can expect a lot of twists and turns, human nature and who people are and why we do the things we do, and so much changes for Harley. What did you agree to do? He gives me evidence Councilwoman Julia Ayers is dirty or your crew goes down. Julia is one of our own. So here's to the greater good. To the greater good. She's fantastic. I've never seen her in a role like this. I'm, I'm number one in line to campaign for her Emmy and for race. <laughs> because I'm really proud of, of that, of, to, be, to be a part of the show with them. Give me the truth, Harley. No more secrets. I couldn't let everyone go down. Every time I'm surprised where it's going, and sometimes I would literally be reading it, and, oh my god, that happened, I do what? What is it you want? I could use a dirty cop. Well, we knew exactly what we wanted to do with the show. We knew exactly what it was about. You know, it was heavy situations for our characters. We still made something really magical. I have played Stolf's game. He doesn't bluff. Neither do I.